Hi, I'm Rob with Fastway Trailer, and this is Two Minute Tech. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about coupler orientation on the trailer frame. Now you're probably a new travel trailer owner or just purchased a trailer, and one of the things you're going to notice right off the bat when you're setting up your E2 hitch system is that it's very versatile and very easy to set up. Most trailers out there will have what we call a top mount coupler, uh, like this one that you see right here on the frame. Um, with this, the E2 system, uh, whether it be a trunnion or a round bar, will set up as normal. You set the hitch head, you set the brackets up with the placement of the studs towards the top of the frame. L brackets set where it's supposed to be so that when you get, bring the arms up, ideally they're running nice and parallel to the trailer frame. Now, um, you know, the last few years we have seen an introduction of what we call a bottom mount coupler on some trailer frames out there. There's a few reasons behind this. Some because it's got a straight axle on the trailer, the chassis is just a lot higher, and to uh, better match the height of the tow vehicle receiver hitch, they put the coupler down towards the bottom of the trailer frame. This introduces a few issues, especially with other systems like chain systems. By putting this hitch head lower, you have to get uh, chain extenders or you're not able to set proper preload angle on the hitch head for proper weight distribution. But however, with your E2 system, uh, the solution's built right in. And you can see with these link plates right here, with a standard top mount coupler, we put the studs towards the top of the frame. So you can bring the arms up higher, match the height, again, match the height of the frame. Um, now with the bottom mount coupler, your hitch head's a lot lower. So what you need to do is just take this outside link plate, flip it around, put it so the two studs are towards the bottom of the frame. This allows you to bring the L bracket down lower. So when you bring those arms up into place, it's going to match the height of the lowered hitch head, plus run nice parallel to the trailer frame, uh, so you have best performance right there. Again, the same process for the E2 round bar. And for more uh, details about the bracket placement in accordance with what type of uh, style coupler you have, please refer to your E2 owner's manual. And that's it. I'm Rob, and thanks for your time.